Yay! 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 Welcome to the Am I Doing It Right podcast, the holy cow, my, ugh, this edition. Uh, sorry if we sound like garbage. The, the technical difficulties racked us last week as well as a stomach bug that rolled through the house. And this week, I thought I had that knocked out, but it turns out we need to buy a whole new laptop. <laughs> We're doing great. We are thriving. It's going to be great. So uh, if this episode doesn't sound as crystal clear, trust me, and, and Katie, you know, uh, 17 years in broadcasting, I have a standard of how I like our broadcast to sound, and this one probably not going to cut it today, but I'm not going to focus on that. We're going to focus on the fact we got a lot of positive things to talk about. Uh, this week, especially with us being out last week. Yeah, and, and, and thank you, by the way. I had so many people. I had a couple people who work with me at McCarthy ask. I had my buddy Jesse, who lives all the way up in Illinois. He's at. He's like, hey, uh, no new episode of the podcast this week? And i got to tell you, that was really flattering uh, that so many people like would reach out uh, Instagram messages or in person or on social media like, hey, did you guys not put out an episode last week? Like, honestly, I didn't even think anybody would notice, and several people did, and that makes my heart happy. It does. It makes my heart happy. Too. I had a few coworkers say something as well. So, did you really? I did. I did. They're That's like, cool. "Hey, you didn't do a podcast?" I'm like, "Yeah, we were sick. Everything's, but we're all good now. It just didn't work out." Yeah, for sure. Um, and it broke my heart that we didn't get to do a podcast last week because we didn't get to talk about one of the greatest, most entertaining weekends in all time. We didn't get to talk about. Cody Rhodes finishing the story and being the new undisputed WWE champion. I hope everybody listening. Da, 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 da. I really oh my god, stop. I really don't know. Sorry. My turn. Yeah. I really hope everybody listening can just feel my eye roll. Like, hope I, can just, too. I hope they can, because you're holding up this belt that you got. How old were you when you bought that for yourself? I bought myself a 21st birthday present. It is an exact replica, a WWF championship belt. WWF, before they made the switch. This was the belt that, like, The Rock and Stone Cold and Triple H were always fighting for when they were in their absolute prime. This is my favorite version of this title ever. It's all good. If you're watching on video right now, you'll know why Katie's laughing, apparently, because we're recording using our phones instead of our traditional broadcast equipment, because it's what we have to do. And if you ever FaceTime on an iPhone and you put your thumb up, it, it gives, like, the thumbs up. I got fireworks going off behind me right now. <laughs> if you're not watching... We don't have sound effects this week, so it's perfect. You can keep those, honey. We can keep those. So, so we have visual effects instead of sound effects sure this week. Do. Sounds good. Good Lord, what a uh, hilarious, what a hilarious time we're in. Okay, so um, hey, the the day this podcast is released, Monday, April fifteenth, kind of a special day in my life. We got a birthday boy! Oh! Shout out to me. I know. Well, my back's a little sore, and uh, it's uh. Huh? You know, a little creaky, but it's nice. The weather's warming up, but I, I think they'll uh, hurt. Um, I think, uh, yeah, I think early uh, Monday and Tuesday in Kansas City, we'll see uh, if my knees get a little creaky because, you know, because apparently that's what happens when you're old. When the rain, yeah, when the rain's on the way, your knees get a little creaky. So you know, we'll see. one thing I didn't get you for your birthday, and I'm sorry. It was a fresh pack of tennis balls. That's my joke. That is my joke. You don't use my joke against me. I make a joke about old people all the time. Like I'll say, what do you want for your birthday? A fresh pack of tennis balls for your walker. Ha ha, that is my joke. And by the way, I didn't hear that joke from anybody. I made that joke up with my own brain. And you, like, stealing it and using it against me, you're a thief. Yeah, you know. It's going to be too expensive to divorce me, so I'd like to see you try. I'm going to steal all your stuff. Oh, I'll never divorce you because you're my person. jokes money <laughs> no you uh actually i'm very grateful for you because i'd like i'd like to talk about my birthday surprise so um uh yeah the weekend before the weekend of the 13th and 14th uh saturday went to work at the car dealership and i, I come home to a massive surprise there's a there's a another car in the driveway a vehicle that i haven't seen in a, in a couple of months but i recognized that i knew who it was but this was your surprise and your guys's story so i'd like i'd like you to be the one to tell it 
I shouldn't say it was my surprise. It was uh, we surprised your your mom drove down for the weekend, which was very exciting. She called me about Thursday. She goes, "Hey, do you guys have any plans for Michael's birthday?" And I was like, mm, "Not really." I was like, "We might go out to dinner, but that's about it." She goes, "Well, I was just looking at my calendar, and I really think I need some Michael and some grandbaby time." I was like, "Perfect, come on down." So she made the trek yesterday. She uh, not yesterday on Saturday. Mm-hmm. She uh, she came down. You know, it's funny because and you went to go Facetime her on Saturday morning just to say good morning before you went to work and say hello to Chandler. She didn't answer. She was busy. And then she called back, but I texted her off. I'm like, he still doesn't know. Yeah. You guys were keeping that a secret for a long time and that's great. And I enjoyed the surprise. We had a previous episode where we talk about how much, um, you, you are not good at being surprised. I enjoy being surprised and I was grateful for it. So, uh, and then just kind of give you a reference. So mom, my mom lives about 200 miles away She's in the suburbs of St. Louis. We're in the suburbs of Kansas City. It's about 200 miles front door to front door. So to get home from work and just, oh, my mom just ran, you know, like surprised me and drove three hours for a birthday as insignificant as a 38th birthday. Uh, it was really special. And the wine was already open, and uh, and, and we have played some. It's like it's the dorky thing my family does, but I wouldn't trade it for the world. But we'll sit around, we'll play card games, and just drink wine all night, and it was. It was awesome. We had a great time. And then the rest of the weekend, we uh, we did a little shopping. We went out to, uh, what's Johnny's last name? Johnny Cascones. Johnny Cascones. Cascones. It, it, it's right there in Overland Park. It, it's literally, it's, it's a block up from uh, Bob Allen Ford in Overland Park where I used to work. And so we didn't know it existed until our neighbors told us about it. And then I had some people when I worked at Bob Allen tell me about it as well. And Great uh, time. I've, Love it. I've been I've been there once. You've been there twice, and uh, we're going. Uh, we went back over the weekend for my birthday. That was that was the perfect that was a perfect decision. You you and Barb and my mom. It was, it's cool. I like when mom comes to the house because then I have like all all of the most important women in my life. I've got my mother, my wife, and my daughter all safely under my roof. And as a man, you know, I think men will understand this, but, but there's just something about. Having all the most important women in your life under your roof, protected under your roof, that gives you a, uh, a a sense of calm and peace that you can't otherwise get anywhere else. So I'm, I'm very grateful for that. I'm very I'm happy we could make the surprise. You know, I love surprising you. I love taking this opportunity and that we could just bring you all together so you could have a great weekend. I knew it would warm your heart. I know you've been like, what? I just thought of this. Well, because you also, when I walked in the front door, you got an awesome gift for me as well. I've been talking about it for a while. I think they're by the front door if you want to grab them. Uh, And so I'll tell this. I'll tell. Yeah, I'll tell the story. Uh, So I walk in. There's this giant gift bag in there. And I'm like, oh, what is it? I'm like, okay. And, And hey, listen, I'm an only child. So I don't mind getting a present. I get excited. I don't care if I'm 38 years old. I love opening a birthday gift and seeing what's inside. And on this new job, you know, selling cars involves, especially as you're newer, you know, you got to walk that parking lot. You got to find customers. You got to meet people. You got to introduce yourself. A lot of walking. You put a lot of miles on shoes. And, and here's the there's thing. A, you will not buy, like, you'll buy shoes, don't get me wrong, but you just tear through them so quickly. So I feel like I needed to get you a really nice shoe that was comfortable throughout yeah. the day that you've been talking I'm, about. Yeah, I'm uncomfortable spending triple digits on shoes and i realize that's becoming more and more common but like the last pair i bought some new balances they're pretty they're nice new balances uh and they're not no they're not like the white ones that you know you get grass stains on over the years they're black new balances they got a sharper uh, kind of an n logo uh but those were those were 80 and i was i was he- so you went all out and got me these sho- everyone's talking about these shoes yeah. throw them up got you pair on clouds Oh, if you're watching on YouTube, look at look at those on clouds. Those are sick, dude. Those are the so, good ones. They're gray. They're waterproof. They are the Cloud Nova <laughs> Five, I believe. But uh, you said they're really comfortable, and you know, I just yeah, they're think dope. I, as much as you're on your feet throughout the day, I wanted to make sure you were comfortable, and you deserve a, you're, you deserve a good pair of shoes. So, Mama nah, dished des- out. Mama dished out for you, baby. I don't deserve anything, but I'm grateful for everything I get, and I uh, that was very sweet of you to to get that for me. And so I will rock those on clouds, and I'm sure a month from now they'll be completely worn down all the way to the sole, uh, because that's just kind of how I roll with those shoes. Well, uh, but I'm very grateful. You'll be hooked, and you know I wanted you to open them early in case you wanted to return them and get a different pair because normal this this is a little, this is branching out from your normal black sneaker game. I do actually here look. 
I'll show you on YouTube. Look, I got my black tennis shoes on. And I always, I like wearing black tennis shoes because they're just easy. Like they're, they're. It's kind of like buying a white car, right? It just hides the dirt better. You buy white shoes, they're harder to keep clean. So that's why I kind of steer away from them. You're not wrong, but I was just like, you know what? We're gonna not get because I actually ordered you a pair of white shoes, and then I went into the store and I was like, no, I don't need them. I, I I don't think these white ones are it. I don't think you'll like them. Then I found those gray ones. I'm like, no, I think those are it. And I'm tell you, I went to I went to Dix and Leewood because they had big selection, mm -hmm. and big Dick selection. Were, big Dick selection. That is that is a large store too. Just an FYI, yeah, it's got it's two big, doors. Biggest one I've ever seen. Okay. Stop it's it. it's really like the and it's how wide the store is. Like the girth is impressive. Okay, moving on. They had all of these shoes. And I was like, yep, we need to get this one. So Chandler helped pick it out. And like everybody in the store was ranting and raving. I was like, this is what my husband does. This is what I'm looking for. And they're like, well, the only thing that would be comparable to, comparable to it is the Hoka's. And I'm like, all right, well, that's not going to happen because Hoka's look like Skets are shape ups. So we're not doing it. <laughs> Shout out to Hoka's. They're a quality shoe. But yeah, I, I don't I don't think I just, they're, 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 they're not my them. style. No, no they're, they're not my not style. Either. But I and then but I will say you're lucky because I almost got myself a pair like there was not my size in mm -hmm. that pair. but don't worry i sent you the link i know mother's day is coming up so that's my favorite thing that you did yeah you totally as soon as you got me a pair on clouds it took less than 24 hours before you sent me the link and you wrote size nine please with little hard and, eyes and i'm just... and lime it was in uh gray and cream or you, something. Don't, you don't have to do this i was just, it's, i'm dropping a hint we're we're, 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 if you can't we're in... i'm winking Oh, thank you. Our audio listeners appreciate. They know that you're linking, uh, winking right now. So yeah, um, so yeah. If, if you're watching on YouTube and yeah, like our backgrounds are usually you and I are in the same room. We do this podcast. You and I are in separate rooms now. We're just using our phones instead of the equipment. Um, I can tell you what happened. Like one of the reasons we didn't do an episode last week is because we tried, but not only did we have a tummy bug, we had more technical issues. Basically, we're to the point now where we've realized I've done some homework, and the laptop that we use to kind of record and put all the video content together, that laptop. Uh, isn't powerful enough to handle everything uh, in the room. For whatever reason, it worked for like three weeks, but then the last three weeks we've tried it, and what will happen is we'll get like 10 minutes into recording a 30-minute episode, and it just stops. And I think anybody who would like say you're in the middle of this 30-minute task, and it's like once you start, you can't stop, and if you stop, you have to start all the way over again. So that's what was happening with us, and uh, so we're to the point now. Katie, I think we should start a GoFundMe and get a new computer. What do you say? But have everyone else pay for it. Okay, we'll work on it. I don't think that'll happen. No, we would never do that. There are way more important things for you to contribute your money to uh, than for us to get a laptop. I've I found a couple of deals online. We should we should get it done. Yeah, so we'll work on that. Um, but in the meantime, oh, um, an announcement. The Am I Doing It Right podcast, which by the way is available across all social media platforms. Just search sure Am I, just search Am I Doing It Right pod on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Et cetera. Oh, and YouTube. YouTube's the biggest one. Uh, what we do is we obviously post our video episodes live. We also um, uh, we'll, we'll make I'll make little clips throughout the week of the show that you can watch on all our social platforms. Maybe I'll put we should put a picture of the new shoes up there. We can do that. I'll put because the new shoes are dope. Yeah. The am I doing it right? Oh, good. Yeah. Put the link up because I need to know how much those shoes cost. Okay. No, we're not putting the link up. <laughs> I'll just we'll get a picture of me rocking them because they they look good man they look they look sharp they do they do they you look, know they, they, they offset look. the whiteness of your calves and your thighs so we're good hey but you know what I've been out there uh, actually Saturday uh, working at the car dealership it was a beautiful day I was outside all day so you know what my calves aren't as white as they were on Friday so you know what you, you, like you make fun of my pasty white legs but that's why I got them out in the sun you to get them on pasty you a pa you a pasty boy I. It is what I, I'm like. I'm like purebred English. Like a lot of people, are like, I'm Irish, German. Da, da, da. I am pure, 100% English, uh, freckly and pale. That's just what I mean. You're you're the one. But look at the wife I landed. So I mean, I'm doing something right. Yeah, I'm just a pale German Italian. So here we are. You are. You got a whole lot of Italian in you too. Um, sure do. So, but this is a cool part. As this podcast continues to grow, the uh, Am I Doing It Right podcast is now uh, an official sponsor for a uh, fun event coming up in Leewood, Kansas. So yeah, uh, and you're you're gonna MC that event, right? We might Chandler and I make might make a special appearance. So Yeah, we'll see. I mean you guys are busy. It's gonna be on a Sunday. It is Sunday. Uh oh. I forget. Will you look it up? Um yeah. it's a Sunday in May and I have it in my text messages, but I can't look at my text messages Boo, right now. I got you. Don't uh, you worry. 
The Myasthenia Gravis Association, the MGA, hosts its annual 5K Run Walk Fun for the whole family. They do it at Town Center Plaza in Leewood, the 119th. I, oh, it's the same lot that that Dick's Sporting Goods is. That's exactly where I'm going. It sure is. <laughs> Town Center Plaza in Leewood, 119th and Row, 119th and all that area. You guys know where it is if you're in Kansas City. Uh, yeah, I'll be emceeing the run, uh, getting the runners fired up and prepped up and ready to go and hopefully getting a, raising a lot of money for these wonderful people who I've worked with over the last couple of years. And, uh, yeah, and, and she, she, she even asked me, she's like, um, she's like, I can pay you. Or, uh, you know, we can bring like a, uh, if you want to bring like a truck from McCarthy and, and put the sponsorship all over it. I said, girl, I'll tell you what, how about we, uh, you, you, uh, we'll, 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 sp- it'll be sponsored by the Am I Doing It Right podcast. We'll, and they're showing us a lot of love on social media and I'm excited to get back out there. The, here's the problem with this event though. And it's, Sorry. it's no, it's nobody's fault, but this will be my third time hosting the event last year. I wasn't able to because I was out of town. And last year, their weather was perfect for the event. Perfect. The two years before, I did host it. And when I tell you the black clouds in the sky, and it's not a metaphor, I'm telling you that the rain, lightning, thunderstorms, no hail, thank God, came down in buckets. The heavens opened up both years that I host it. And so what I do is they hire a company that provides all the sound equipment, but I kind of like DJ, like a bad wedding DJ basically. And so what I did was I kept playing on on, re, on repeat. I just started playing uh, the kid's nursery rhyme. I just started playing rain, rain, go away over these super loud speakers. Let me ask you, are you gonna, <laughs> can you prep a, a rain playlist? Like, okay, so when I worked at Sporting and we had a rain oh. delay, we had a rain playlist. So it was, like, oh. everything from, like, nursery rhyme, rain, rain, go away to, like, okay, this is the legit the first rain song that pops in. Yeah, my head. let's it's go. A, is like, from 2000-something, Hillary Duff. <laughs> Let the rain fall down and break my dream. Let it watch it I'm going to stop. But, like, stuff like that, right? So we yeah. Like a rain playlist of all songs about rain. And then we Comment. Please comment if you're watching on YouTube. We'll put the question up on Spotify. Favorite, Best favorite songs rain. about rain. Um, Jody Messina and Tim McGraw. Bring on the rain. rain. Although that really doesn't make sense because we don't want to bring. <gasps> rain makes corn. Corn makes whiskey. Whiskey this my baby. <gasps> want to run a 5K? There you go. Um. Ooh, we go back to the 80s, a little Prince, a little purple it. rain. Ooh, ooh, this is fun. So yeah. this will be, it, the race is on May 19th, Sunday, May 19th at Town Center, starting at 8 a.m. Mm-hmm. You'll be there. Chandler and I might make a guest appearance just so we can do, you know, a little shopping. Why not? Can I we'll tell you? Uh, barrel. They have great baby stores over there. Maybe like Anthropology for Mom, like. Can I tell you how the MGA paid me my first year of doing this? Because it was hilarious. Because what I said is, stop it. It's a chair, you know, it's, it's an event for an organization, a nonprofit organization. I'm not taking your money. Like, I'm happy to do it. You're a friend. Like, don't even think about handing me money, you, you chumps. Because that's, that's how you know you have a good friend. Well, yeah, because, but that's how you know you have, you have good friends when you're like, you like, you, you start name calling because they have the audacity to want to pay you money, which is like, that's how you know you have a good friend, right? And so, so uh, Allison, Allison Foss is the name of the woman who is who, who I the, know. And, and, yeah, she's and the executive director. She's on the board. Yes, yeah, very important. No, she's, a, she's, a, she's the executive director of the foundation locally. Oh, sweet. Is that better than the board? Like she, she runs the board? Like, it, like, yeah, she's like the, the liaison between the board. But our friend Lindsay, oh, who owns mm-hmm. Team Top Cocktail, she's on the board as well. Look at that. There we go. So um, – where was I going with this? Oh, so the first year I do it, I say, Allison, keep your money. Like, shut up. Don't pay. What are you doing? Like, stop it. Put your money away, and let's have a good time. Let me. And I was promoting the radio station and the new morning show with Jenny at the time. She like, our morning show was brand new. It was perfect. I was like, don't pay me anything. So she goes, uh, when I get there, like, towards the end of the night, she's like, hey, I know you said I didn't. I know you said not to pay you, and I'm like, I'm not taking your money. She's like, I don't have money, but I do have a thank you gift. And I'm like, it's one of those things, you know, she was real, she was real pushy about it. And Allison, you know what I mean? That's the way she's like, she's like, you're taking this gift. I said, all right, what is it? 
I go to the back of her SUV. She opens up the hatch, and she pulls out a fresh case of Yingling beer. Baby, oh, yeah. it was awesome. And ladies and gentlemen, this was four years ago. Yingling wasn't available in Missouri or Kansas yet. It was a special, special treat. She had just had a, a friend come up from Nashville, and she asked them to bring some up. Uh, and so I, that was that was very thoughtful. So thank you, Allison. And of, like, of course, I'm going to host this. And uh, I, yeah, I think I think yeah, we went out of town last weekend because yeah, I was I was supposed to host last year, but then I had to cancel on her. I, I gave her plenty of notice, but I, I felt bad that I wasn't there. And uh, so it really means a lot that after not doing it, uh, I don't know what they did instead, but they're like, nope, we want Mike back, and that that means a lot. Yeah, that's really cool when somebody you know invites you back. They say I. We tried something else, and mm-hmm. we think you're better at it. So that's 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 super cool. So shout well, out to the know, MGA. And they're just a great organization, you know. And they host just some great <laughs> events. You know, they have this run, and then they also have their trivia nights, which they have throughout the year. Which I've gone to one of them, and I had a great time. Yeah, the trivia night was a lot of fun. Um, that trivia night really helped me out uh, in more ways than I think they realized. Um, yeah, they they do this MGA trivia night. It's at Arrowhead, it's in the, but the, at the executive level of Arrowhead. Uh, I hosted that night too. It was just reading trivia questions. It was a lot of fun. But it was right after. It was like a month or less after my contract wasn't renewed at the radio station, and but you so were I hadn't been committed. You had to do it. Well, and I was happy to, but it was weird because all of a sudden I hadn't been behind a microphone for a month, and uh, I was really in a I was you know sliding into a depression that I still fight every once in a while. Because uh, you know it's my it's my passion. It's what I've done since I was 19, and uh, it was my first time behind a microphone since that contract wasn't renewed, and it was so good mm-hmm. to just be behind a microphone in a room full of people and entertain. And whether they're laughing with me or laughing at me, I don't care as long as the crowd is laughing. I'm happy. And that was very cool. So, uh, Allison and Lindsay and friends, if you are listening, which I think they listen to most of our episodes, um, just know that I'm as grateful. You know, they're very, they're like, well, thank you so much, thank you so much, my friends. Right very back cool. at you, right back at you, because I needed that too. That was so much fun. I'm excited to MC this uh, 5K May 19th in Leewood Town Center Plaza, and uh, I imagine, I imagine trivia night will probably be back and banging too. So mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm fired we'll put, up for that. We'll put links to the 5K on our on our socials as well. So sign yeah, up I know a great cause. They have a it looks like they have a fun run, and then they also I should say a fun run, but they have a run or a top trot, but they also have a yeah. like a walk. So there there's some different options. It's really family friendly. So I think I, I would encourage everybody to join. It'll be a great day. It's not going to mm-hmm. rain. If it does rain, there's going to be a great playlist. So. <laughs> Rain makes corn. Okay, sorry. Um, cool. Uh, so listen, yeah, um, if you're watching on YouTube, you notice that our backgrounds are different than they were before uh, because as we're trying to shift through these technical difficulties. But um, the first couple of videos, we were sitting at this at this uh, this table that we had bought a couple of years ago. It was supposed to be our entertaining oh. table or whatever. Then COVID hit. Oh, sorry. Before we get into that story, I think we have uh, guests who have no idea they're about to be special guests. They sure don't. They're they're walking up the driveway right now. So they're yeah. So, there, so FYI, we we saw. So yeah, at the beginning of the episode, we told you a Granny Barb surprised me in town. As of this recording, she's still in town, and she just took Chandler out for a walk, but she's about to come in. So so as she walks, sorry, this is chaos, especially if you're listening on one of our audio platforms, but. Our ring doorbell just went off. My, uh, Grandma and Chandler are about to walk in, and I don't think they realize they're probably about He's to be talking. guests on the podcast. You can you can hear me. I'm going to go see if she needs help to get her through, so keep talking. For sure. I got gotcha. you. Um, but I'm going to start telling the story because I think, yeah, Katie, you can still hear me. I'm going to start telling the story about um, this table that we would, we would sit at to, to do this podcast, and it just wasn't the greatest table. So... <laughs> So probably can hear it. <laughs> we're, so yep. we're recording the podcast and like Mike's downstairs right now. I have the iPad at the table because it still wasn't working. So we're recording a podcast right now. I'm outside. You're upset. <laughs> you're you're live, Barbara. Say hi. You're live, Barbara. Just say hi. Hey, <laughs> and Katie, you can still hear me even though you're off camera, right? Cool. So I'm going to start telling the table story. So we had this table downstairs that we were recording the pie. It wasn't just the best table for recording. I can't tell the story. We got. We can all hear Chandler just whining clear as day. Katie, <laughs> welcome to the uh, joys of live parenthood. K- 
Katie, if you need to, take the AirPods out, dear, because it's okay. it's 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 drowning everything out. You got it. <laughs> Hi, mom. <laughs> Oh, God, I love technical difficulties. I will do that. Kate, Katie, I don't know where you put the AirPods, but it was in the worst possible place. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, Barb, jump in. I am so sorry. This is so chaotic. If you hate this, you can fast forward like 30 seconds to a minute. We'll get it figured out. They can't even hear me anymore. I'm just saying. Somebody put the AirPods in. This is a disaster. We can still hear everything. <laughs> so. It's count. It says record nope. stopped on my end. Okay, well we're still rolling on my end. I don't know what to say, so just keep okay, rolling. Cool. We'll figure it out. Let's just tell the table story and then we'll wrap it up because shout out to Facebook Marketplace that came through huge, big time. We appreciate that. This table in our basement, we bought it. We we're going to do all these entertaining, host all these parties. Then COVID happened. We never did. But this was, this was my like first or second real experience with Facebook Marketplace. Facebook Marketplace terrifies the crap out of me. I'm just afraid that the only people who are on there are like creepers who like want to know where you live. So we ended up selling this table. And I'm so happy we met these people. Katie, are you able to kind of tell more of the story? Because you had this set up on your page. Never mind. I can't hear you. I don't know if you can hear me at all, Katie, but I can't even hear there you now. Go. I don't know can if you can hear me now. Oh. Yeah, there we are. So long, long story short, uh, they were on – I put the table up on Facebook Marketplace, and I had people lined up around the block to come get this. Yeah. Table. And, you know, you never know who you're going to find on Facebook Marketplace. But luckily, I found a guy who wasn't creepy. And he seemed like a good dude and like, all right, can you just come to the house and get it? If you can come this weekend, it's yours, dude. And he came last night or Saturday night and he, he got it. You want to come say hi? Come here. Hold on. Yeah, it was really cool. And uh, he we actually get, we, we really lucked out because we weren't sure how much we're going to get for it. We ended up getting like more than we asked, which is also super dope. Ladies and gentlemen, joining us on the video right now, if you're watching on YouTube or Spotify video, <gasps> baby Chandler. Hi. Chandler. You see Hi. Daddy? Can you wave to daddy? She, she can see me, but she can't hear me. She's got a little Aldi uh, food pouch right now, so she's just kind of vibing. Babe, let's just let her vibe. But So I want to tell you a little bit about the guys who came and bought this table. Super nice couple of dudes. Uh, they came in like they have a Jeep Wrangler, but it's one of those Wranglers that look, it has like a pickup truck bed. I don't know what it's called. A, uh, gladi but, a gladiator. Okay, so a Wrangler gladiator. Not only that, but it was painted kind of this military green. And they put Jurassic Park logos on either side of the Jeep. So it looked like like one of those Jurassic Park Jeeps from the original 90s movie. Coolest thing ever. Guys couldn't have been nicer. Um, you know, I always worry about like, you know, okay, you're going to hand me the money or are you going to try to load it first and then drive off on me? Now, he handed me the cash right away. And then I said, I was like, hey, man, before I even put this in my pocket, I want you to look at this table. Make sure, it's, you know, you see it in person, that you're satisfied with it before I take your money. And he's like, I appreciate that. And he went and looked. He's like, oh, man, yeah, this is great. It's exactly what we wanted. I'm fired up. So it was like – it was – in a world full of creepy potential transactions, this was about the smoothest, most wonderful transaction ever. And I'm so, I'm so, I'm grateful that we found these people. I'm grateful they found it, and I'm, they're like so excited. He said he's got this, he's got, he's like, I've got this thirty thousand foot long table at his house. <laughs> Apparently, this huge table that he only uses at Thanksgiving, and other than that, he never uses it. And he just needed like a smaller table. So he, they saw, he said he saw it on Facebook. He's like, oh my gosh, this is perfect. Uh, we had already had somebody potentially lined up to buy it, and I guess he offered like I'll give you a, I'll give you a hundred more, and we're like, all right, and yeah. so uh, yeah, it was awesome, and so uh, they and they were happy with it. They they, they got a bargain too because I, I, we saw a similar table, brand new, cost like fifteen hundred, and uh, we did not charge anywhere close to no. fifteen hundred. So uh, we just wanted it out. This table, like we I, we had to really like think about how like this table really had to cause us a lot of issues, especially with this podcast too. Yeah, it and it's heavy. heavy. And then yeah. we were ready to get rid of it. We were like, we we're when we got rid of it, we're like, this table is going with the house. Like, we are not moving it. When I put it in my car to bring it here, it pushed down my suspension about two inches. Like, it was yeah, a you, heavy table. You looked like a drug mule. I did. I did. As low as your Jeep was, right? Like, you were rolling like a thousand kilos of black tar heroin. It was crazy. 
You hear Chandler in the background. She sounds so sweet. Uh, so shout out to those guys. And so my goal is to find some sort of table that we can that, that its primary use is for us to set up almost like a little so we can almost set up a little like official studio. We can finally get this feed right, get this this new computer in, and uh, really take this podcast to the next level. Maybe someday we'll ask for sponsors, but I tell you what, Not we this, ain't there yet. Fire. We ain't there yet, and well. we appreciate everyone who's rolling along with us in our, our kind of our our maiden episodes, our first 10, 20 episodes where we're trying to figure things out. This this background behind me might be completely different next week. Who knows? Yeah. Who's that? Dude, by the way, since we're just – I just point I – have, I have a uh, Sporting KC scarf over my left shoulder here. Hey, shout out to all 72,000-plus people who packed Arrowhead Stadium over the weekend for the Sporting in Miami game with Leo Messi in town. Man, that was that was really – we had the game while we were watching it at home. That was an awesome was game cool. to watch. That was very cool. I, I got a guy I work with who uh, he's like, yeah, whatever, it's soccer. And I get I get that like not everyone's a huge soccer fan. For the longest time, I wasn't. I think you working at sporting really kind of fired up my passion for the sport a little bit more. But um, I'll say this, man. I think anybody, even if you're not a soccer fan, if you were at that stadium, you would have had so much fun in just the atmosphere. I've told you this about Katie. There's one time that I would like to get you – to a WWE live event. Smat, or Monday Night Raw is coming at the end of eight in like two weeks. So I think I think even though you wouldn't care one lick about the action, I think you would love the people watching and the atmosphere. I first I think first you'd get there and I think you'd be rightfully so, maybe a little judgy of some of the more nerdy wrestling fans. But I think you would also enjoy watching how much fun everyone has at those events. I think you would be like, you know what? I mean, I didn't care about what happened, but I love just watching people be happy. Does that make sense? I would go one time for you. Of course, yeah. You just go once and never go again. I even let you rock the the belt here. You oh, can wear this. You could, so, honey, you could carry so it over the shoulder. Oh, thank God! I, right? I've always wanted to wear the belt. Did I tell you that one time? So I've had that. I've had this belt a long time, and I brought it to a couple of live events back when I was a little bit more of a fan than I am now. And there was one time I went to a pay per view. Katie, I went to a pay per view in Chicago at the Allstate Arena right by O'Hare. I went to uh, I, I and I brought this belt, and this woman comes up to me and she's like, "Hey, my son really likes your belt. Can he take a picture with it?" And I'm like, "Sure, no problem." And uh, thank God there were a bunch of people around because what happened was the little kid took my belt, got a picture, and then they tried to walk off with it. And what they try, and I said, "Whoa!" I said, "Whoa! I need my belt back." They tried to claim that, say that, like, why are you trying to steal my baby boy's belt? Like, try to make me a bad guy. Thank God there were, like, six people around who called her out. They said, bullshit, that is his belt. You give that belt back to him. He let your kid take a picture with it, and now you're trying to steal it, you thief, you criminal, you punk. And so uh, got my belt back. But I tell you what, it's happened a couple times. It's never was like, can my kid take a picture with your belt? And I say, I'm sorry, this belt was really expensive, and I'm, I don't. But it, I no, like I just say no, like sorry, because this thing, this thing was expensive, man, and I'm not. Not ready to part. Some, not ready to. What can you imagine the audacity of some parent literally trying to like use their kid to help them steal something from somebody else? You know what a piece of shit parent you have to be That's to teach your kid that. Trashy wrestling base. D- I don't uh, be oh man. With those people. Yeah, dude, wrestling fans are the worst. That I kind of that's one of the things I don't like is the people who like take it too seriously, and it's like. Guys, calm down. It's 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 entertainment. They've they've admitted that it's it's just your entertainment, so it's all good. All right, no idea how this podcast will turn out. Not even sure if we'll publish it. We'll see what happens. But uh, we cannot thank you enough for joining us. Is it kind of like a felt cute my delete later type scenario? That might be the title of the episode. No, it's not. Damn. It's not. Um, I put but all good. This. Hey, I pre- hey, we'll, we'll get it published. It might sound like garbage, but we'll. Uh, We'll put it up. We can't thank you enough for watching. Hold on, I got to hit the the. Since I'm on my phone and not my control board, I don't have music. There were no sound effects this week, Katie. You're on my birthday. There's no sound effects. What the heck? This is this is nonsense. Blasphemy. No. We try to get better every week. Thank you so much for joining us. Remember, Am I Doing It Right pod across all social media platforms. We will attempt to talk to you next week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.